Hello, my lovelies. Good evening. How are my YouTube savages? I hope y'all are good. Hope y'all are doing well. It's interesting being back on the YouTube side of things. I will be completely honest. <laughs> it feels good. Um, today we have a very special game that I've been holding off on for the past couple of days now. Um, but I'm so excited to get started with you guys. It's Palea, which I have heard is a cross between Disney Dream Live Valley and Animal Crossing. And I made my character and everything. I just, once I made my character, I stopped. I was like, okay, this is where I'm leaving off. <laughs> I am not touching anything else until I can go ahead and make the, con the content about it. So I'm super excited. I hope you guys are excited too. Just give me a small little moment to go ahead and put everything together. For some reason, Pelea does not play when it comes to getting the whole thingy thingy set up. Like once you once you click on Pelea, you better have everything else that you want because <laughs> it does not let you exit, and I don't know why. Should. Hmm. I definitely should have done this beforehand. But I just thought about it. Let me see if I can add this to my stream deck real quick. Perfect. Okay. All right, y'all. We are about to get started. I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys are ready because so am I. Okay? Okay. Whew. I love how it just cuts off. <laughs> okay. It's time for failure. It's time for failure. It's time for failure. I hope the sound is playing. Ooh, okay. Oh, holy poop. Not me forgetting what my thingy thingy was. Dang it, I forgot it. No. Hold on, y'all. I forgot my thingy thingy. Wait. Oh. I didn't want to do that. Oh, well. Uh... Should be good now. Yay! 
Here you go. Okay. <gasps> it's Mickey. Oh my gosh, YouTube is so delayed. And this is with low latency. Wait, hold on. Okay, perfect. Bro. <laughs> it's so delayed. Oh my god. You got a new nightclub? Ooh. You changed locations? What made you want to change locations? You'll be home soon? <gasps> Decorate your home with star quality fish, insects, and food. Well, I'm not doing the insects, but I definitely will do the fish. Oh, I'm so excited. Let me know if the quality is good, if everything is good. I can see that. Why don't you come back when my head's spinning a little less? Okay, well, um... The view car spawning. Uh, so yeah, let me let me know if the audio quality is good, if you could hear the game well, if you could hear me well enough. I wanted the game to be loud, but not ear splitting, you feel me? Also, I don't know how to move in this game. Is it? Oh, okay. Okay. Hello, human. I know you must have many questions about your spontaneous emergence. I do. Your presence heralds much change in the world of Palea. Uh, what am I? Who are you? Why was your friends have freaked out? That part. Why was your friends have freaked out? Organic beings are often shocked at the emergence of new things, are they not? True. This world has not seen your kind in thousands of rotations. Be patient with it as it learns to accommodate you once again. Oh, well, okay. Thank you, Hecla. Okay, so we have to find Ashura and Kalima? Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Alright, that's fine. It just took a poop. Some obstacles can be jumped by pressing spacebar. Press the to toggle. Press the arrow. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Some obstacles can be climbed by moving up. Proceed to the next room by jumping and climbing. Okay. Holy poop. Okay, I'm scared. Yeah. Oh, so I can also move with the arrow keys if I need to. And we have stamina. Okay, bro, this game feels so smooth right now. Cutscenes? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. Holy guacamole, bro. I hope nobody can hear me. I hope I'm by myself. Important objectives like quests are tracked on your compass. Items outside the compass are behind you. Rotate your camera with the thingy thingy to change your field of view. Okay. Press M to open the map screen. The map screen shows additional points of interest and keeps track of the villager movement. Okay. Add your own marker. Got you. Well, I don't have a party, unfortunately, but... So we have to go over here. Oh, I have to press the middle? Ew, that's a little weird. That's a little weird, but yeah, I'll get used to it. You are one of the very first players to join the world of Palea. I'm one of the first! Let's go, y'all! Please enjoy this welcome gift. What is it? Wait, how do I claim it? 
I'm a founder. Y'all, I'm a founder. My bad, I was driving to my new club, but everything sounds good. Let's go. Thank you, Nikki. I'm so happy to hear that. Appreciate you and your feedback. It helps keep the stream running, looking good, sounding good, feeling good. You feel me? Is this sprinting? This doesn't feel like sprinting. This game, I low-key just like... Can I just walk a little bit? No? We gotta go full sprint. I guess we do. I was trying to just have like a nice little... A nice little stroll, but I guess not. I just really... Y'all... Holy crap, this is gorgeous. We have to, we have to just look around a little bit, you know? Like I don't I don't want to just straight up go from objective to objective. This game wasn't recommended to me by anybody. I saw it on Twitter. I guess I have to start calling it X now. I re I just refuse, you know? I just refuse. But um I saw it on Twitter. And my brain lit up and was like, you need to do this. You you have to do this. You know, content creator brain kicked in. And once I made my character, this is my character, by the way. This is Syra. Her nickname is Siren. So you'll see her referred to as both. And just seeing the options that they had for the character creation. This game is, is in beta, I think, also still. And it looks this pretty already. And it has this much inclusion already. So I am so thoroughly impressed, bro. It takes, it doesn't take much, but it also takes a little bit, you feel me, for me to hop on a PC game. And this was one of the ones where I was like, no, I need, I need to. Eloisa? This F to chat is a little bit weird. Oh, another human. I must say, this is quite exciting. So, how is it? It's fine? Good, good. I was worried your eyes might hurt. Why would they hurt? Why? Because you have been underground for so long, of course. You see, I knew the humans didn't really go extinct. No, the only answer is that you retreated beneath the soil. I cannot imagine how stressful it must be. I'm sure you have many questions, but first, you should go get set up with Ashura. Yes, that will give me time to organize my investigation. Just take this path towards the village. He will be in the inn in the center of town. Thank you. Appreciate it. Being, okay, all right, I'm, you know, I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna just go. I can't wait to start looting, start looking around, start exploring, start finding things. I can't wait to set up my house. That's the part I'm mostly looking forward to. Once we establish a nice little place to live. So this is an MMO, um, I believe, I'm pretty sure. Because these usernames I don't recognize, but these are other characters. Hello, Ashura. Oh, you look different than I, what I thought you were going to look. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Wait, hold on. <coughs> oh, my God. Ugh. Thank you, y'all. <laughs> Need anything? Welcome to Kalima. I'm sure this is quite a lot to take in. I'm Ashura. The innkeeper of Ormu's Horn? Unfortunately, there isn't any room at the end right now. But we do have some old plots to the northeast where you could build yourself a tent. What do you say? You want to take in the great outdoors? Nothing like sleeping under the stars. I'm just glad I have a place to sleep. Um, so I feel like these elements, earth-type personalities are stubborn, practical, and honest, often to a fault. 
fire type personalities are friendly brave and easily excitable natural born leaders that that's crazy because the leo in me likes this answer <laughs> and it doesn't say anything about what oh there you go water type personalities are thoughtful introspective and emotionally sensitive while intelligent they may often tend towards melancholy so i feel like my responses here are going to shape how people see me not in a drastic way but just more so which one of my answers are going to matter more i do want to say nothing like sleeping under the stars because i am a fire type at heart <laughs> However, I also am just glad to have a place to sleep. So, hmm. And for this one, let's go with one. The sky here is beautiful. I'm sure you'll love it. So, let's see. To build a tent, you're going to need to collect some materials. I've got an actor for you, but you'll have to talk to our resident miner, Hodari, about the pick. Lucky for you, he's checking out the plots right now. You'll want to take the road up the hill to the northeast. I've marked the spot on your map. If you get lost, just come back here and I'll get you sorted out. Thanks for dropping by. Oh, you're so kind. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we're going up this way. So it's M for map, F to talk to people. Forgot the rest of the buttons. Oh, we also have the little clock at the top corner for daytime and nighttime. I love that. Going back towards Tish. I feel like I should talk to her. Welcome to the valley. Hi, welcome to the valley. I'm Tish. I run the furniture store. Are you new in town or just passing through? I just materialized from a void. What is this? Air type personalities are laid back and free spirited. They never take themselves or others too seriously. Hmm. Filling item requests and giving gifts improves your relationship. Um, I did just materialize from a void though, so it's true. Well, that sounds tough. When my brother and I first moved in, it took us a whole, a little time to adjust. And we were just coming from one town over, not another plane of existence. If you need help with any of the locals, don't hesitate to ask. I'm known as a bit of a grump whisperer in these parts. Okay. Appreciate that. Okay, so, so far we know Ashura, Eloise, Tish, and the person that we spawn. I don't even think they're people. Wait a minute. The the monster that greeted us when we spawned in. Oh, okay. Oh, we got another cutscene. Golly, this game is gorgeous. Pleasure to meet you. Do you mind if I have that? Yeah. He said yeah, and that creeped me out a little bit. Hmm. It's coming along. A lot of trash left, though. Oh. Hi. Adari Pavel of Pavel Mining. What can I do you for? Ashura sent me for a pickaxe. You could tell me how you got those biceps. Am I in the right place? Hi, I'm Siren. Uh, am I in the right place? If you're currently without a home and looking for one, then yeah, you are. Sole reason I'm checking out the soundness of these campsites. Don't need you all buried in mud. In fact, this one's about ready for you to use if you want it. Just needs a bit more work. I see you've got an axe already. Take this pick too. Always good to have the right tool for the right job. Use them both to clear the debris, will ya? Mine is hungry work, so you better take this too. 
My daughter says I need to eat healthier, but you'll get more use out of it. Be around, I guess. Uh, R to open the tool. Okay. Hover over a tool and release R to equip it. Okay. Gathering stone from the nearby rock debris. Hold R to switch to another tool. F to gather the items you've created. Okay. There's so many buttons. Wait, so which one do I need for what do I need for what? I'm guessing that I need this for this. Hello? Hello? Okay, so maybe this? There we go. <laughs> Okay, we're getting there. The controls are pretty easy. It's not too, uh... Not too complicated. I'm so happy I got a, a gaming mat before this. I literally two days ago had ordered a uh, a mat to come in so that it would be easier for me to move my hands around and move the mouse. It's paying off right now. So I'm clearing all of this then? I mean, I don't mind clearing all of it. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. The music is gorgeous. I'm loving this already. Mountain moral, okay. Return to Hodari, okay. Still lots to do, but it's a start. I found this weird thing. Oh, found a lot of strange things in the mines, but not sure what that is. Well, you found it, so you keep it. Cheers, plot, after all. I've got other plots to inspect, but there should be places, there should be space to drop this work table down now. I suggest you focus on getting a roof over your head and a place to keep your things before you worry about glowing tubes. Bye. Okay, we got a work table, though. Appreciate you. You're still here, huh? Select the workbench from the action bar using the numbered hotkey. And then press the right stick to enter placement mode. Okay. Rotate this. Oh my gosh. Oh lord. Q and E. <laughs> okay. Alright. So before we do any of that, I want to clear out the rest of this stuff. The action bar is full. You can scroll to action bar number two. Okay, use the pips to keep track of which action bar is displayed. Got you. Uh, the items in your action bar are outlined in your inventory. Place items you can use or consume on your action bar. Okay, wait, so how do I access my inventory? Wait. So what's, what's H? Oh. Oh. Can be purchased at City Hall. This is how big my plot of land can get? Holy crap, okay. Um, and then control is what? Oh, it's a grid. Bro, I am not prepared for this level of, of just in-depthness. <laughs> okay, I'm still trying to find my inventory. I don't know how to get to it.
Okay. So what's P? Holy poop. There we go. P is my inventory. Okay. Get a pack upgrade at Zakai. These names are so creative. Oh my gosh. Okay. Mining, gardening, cooking, fishing, hunting, bug catching, foraging, and furniture making. Ooh, me and Tish. Me and Tish gonna be best buds. I'm telling you. I'm calling that right now. Romance pin, romance pin. I can have two romances. Fishing bobber, glider, and a pet. Okay, okay. And then the premium store. Oh boy. Oh, they gonna have me make. They gonna have me spend some money up in here, y'all. They gonna have me spend some money up in here, y'all. I gladly would. I gladly would. Oop, wrong button. Okay, and then what the hell is that? Does that mean that it's evening time? Well, I'm hard at work here, so I ain't worried about it, you feel me? How do I know when I'm hungry? Okay, so we've cleaned up pretty much everything. We got our mushroom. I'm pretty sure we're gonna use that for something like cooking. Okay, well, oh, wait, hold on. This is the last part. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. So the only thing left is to go ahead and place the wood table, which is seven. Okay. Oh, there we go. Can I put it on the outside? No, I have to put it on the side. <gasps> uh, kind of want it like. Right there. Craft a tent at the workbench, craft a wooden storage chest, and place it. Okay. <laughs> We're getting there, y'all. We're getting there. I need 10 more wood. Oh. So, is a tent more important? Plant fiber. Oh, it's time. It's, it's time to go chop down some trees. I, I don't make the rules. Listen. Oop. There we go, y'all. I don't want to chop too many down because I do want the natural foliage. For now but also I gotta do what I gotta do unless all of this stuff does equal the material that I need and then in which case I can't do nothing about that I gave a lot of plant fiber I'm in my bag. I'm in my bag, y'all. I'm in my bag, y'all. I can't be stopped now. I done started. So I'm assuming that these tools don't break yet. They seem like they could break at a certain point. They kind of just look a little bit flimsy, but that may be my Animal Crossing brain. Pretty much clearing out this whole side. I don't want to get rid of the big tree.
Oh, I'm so excited. Like, I'm, I'm just so excited to turn this into an actual plot for my house. The tent is just the beginning. It always starts with the tent, but taking it from that into something bigger. Should I do the other half? I don't think so. How big is this tent even? Okay, let's see. What's our inventory looking like? We have 96 pieces of sapwood now. We have 69 pieces of plant fiber. We have this ancient thing. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. I'm gonna put this here, put that there. A windmill decor we don't need at the moment. Focus points. I'm not sure what focus points do yet. Okay. Stone and flint. We don't need flint yet, but we do need these three. Okay. Should I do the other side? <laughs> nah. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's do the tent first. Ooh. Ooh, okay, we got our tent. And our storage chest. Okay, now, where should we place this? Hmm. Oops, wrong button. Wait, so then I'm confusion. How do I, oh, there we go. Pick up generic light post, that. Oh, okay, I get it now, I get it now. Okay, 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 okay. Can I pick up this tree? Pick up the cabin fence, no. Okay, so it's G to pick stuff up. There's too many buttons, y'all. <laughs> I'm already forgetting. I'm already forgetting. Okay, so let's go back to the regular. And then we'll go to the tent. And... How do I put... There we go. Holy poop. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> um oh my god they have sound effects you don't own this land yet Whoa. okay now can i put the yup yup and then we take eight We'll put that, like, there. <gasps> We're already getting started. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. The heck is this? I'm not sure what to do with this, but it can, it can go here for now. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Talk to Ani when he visits your plot. Oh. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. So then, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I want to take this then, right, right, right. Uh, and I want to put it inside. Oh. So when I'm in this mode, I don't have to take it out of my inventory. I just hit the number and then it's going to bring it out on its own. Okay. I'm learning so much already. Okay. Hello, honey. Oh, wow. <laughs> Didn't expect you. I definitely will be changing up this stuff off stream certain things so that I can organize it better. 
But, you know, we're going to have it be as beautiful as it can be for now. Whew, good. You haven't left yet. My mom, Delalia? Delayla? Del Delilah? Del I'm thinking it's Delilah. Told me there was another new human in town. And here you are. I ran all the way from the farm here. She wanted you to have this housewarming gift. Fresh dairy from the Daya family farm. Welcome to Kalima. And I wanted you to have your own mail. I'm Ani, and I handle all the deliveries around here. Twice a day, every day, rain or shine, six in the morning and six at night. So I think it's safe to say my job is about to get a lot more interesting. Do you like getting mail? Do you look like someone who would like getting mail? Looks can be deceiving. Mm -hmm. Maybe with the right mail, you'll change your mind. Come on, go check it out. It's your first mail delivery ever. Catch you later, okay? Okay, appreciate you. Oh. To whom it may concern, City Hall requires I send these letters to new residents. You will find a bow and a set of arrows in the attached package. City Hall also requires me to tell you that I'm available to tutor you in, in their use. During work hours, you can find me in Kalima. Is it Kalima? Kalima? I think it's Kalima. Kalima Village. This is not an invitation to waste my time. I am busy. Okay, I'm not going to waste your time. Holy boo. Dear Siren, I have been informed by Gina. Gina? Gina, I think it's Gina, that you have emerged fully formed from the swirling mist. This is wonderful news. Happy day of mist birthing to you, new human. Other humans call me Einar. Einar? They're, bro, these names? These names have so many pronunciations. I think it's Einar. Like, listen, look, y'all. Any of my paleo players, if y'all come across this video, please tell me the pronunciation of people's names because clearly... <laughs> My brain is like, it could be so many different things. But I think it's Einar. And I would like to share with you the joy of fishing. Oh, you sound like my boyfriend. Please take this rod into your possession and seek me out at your nearest convenience. I shall be located at the pier for the next few millennia. Not the millennia. Okay. And a recipe. Oh, that's cool. So if you don't take the thing and you don't mark it as red... It'll just keep it there until you do. So that's cool. Pretty cool bug. So, how are you settling in? This plot's huge. I heard you could find some pretty cool stuff in the dirt. My dad found an old copper arrowhead in our yard last week, but all I ever seem to find are rocks. Does this weird glowing tube count? Well, I found the strange artifact. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Oh, wow, it definitely counts. Have you figured out what it does yet? Not yet. Mm -hmm. I bet Gina might know. She's always hanging out in ruins. You should see if she's found something like this before. Oh, yeah. I almost forgotten all the excitement. I brought a present for you, too. A Bug Scout's official belt. And a set of smoke bombs, too. I'm a member of Kalima's best and only bug catching club. I gotta run now, but if you stop by later, I'll give you some tips on how to use them. But I bet you're hungry right now. You should talk to my dad, Badru, and learn how to grow food. And Reth, who works at the inn, can teach you how to cook it. You know, everyone's waiting to meet you. Come on, I'll race you out. Holy poop. Y'all are very, uh... Y'all are very, uh... Welcoming. Remember to take water breaks as you play. Ooh. Where my water bottle at? Where my water bottle at? Thank you, game. We're so happy to welcome you to Palea. We started Singularity 6 in order to create new worlds that deepen players' lives. And we hope Palea lives up to that for you. As a new startup studio, we're excited that you found your way to Palea. It can't live without players like you giving it a chance. If you like what we're cry try crying, wow. If you like what we're trying to create and want to support Palea, the biggest thing you could possibly do is tell friends and family. Well, I'm telling my entire community, so period. I'm telling all of y'all. It would mean the world to us. We really hope you enjoy exploring what Palea has to offer.
Welcome home, the Singularity Six team. Okay, S6. Okay, so we have to talk to Baju, talk to Reth, and ask Gina about the artifact. Asking Gina seems like a main mission. <sighs> Who's sleeping? Kenyatta? Oh, there's Gina. Ani is over there. Badger is sleeping. Okay, so all the people that I wanted to talk to are asleep. So we'll just go ahead and go talk straight to Gina. That's another thing, too. I don't have to go on the beaten path. Oh. I don't think I have health, but that sounded like it hurt. Somebody's gliding. Gina, stop moving. I have a question. Oh, my dragon. oh you're Gina. I remember you. Hey, Siren, it's good to see you again. Did you get settled in all right? Uh, if you call straining my back finding this object, all right. I found something you might be interested in. Really? What is it? Oh, wow. I can't believe it. This thing is an ancient slow battery. These were the power sources for the ancient humans. I've been looking all over for something like this. And you say you just found this under some old junk? Must be fate. I'm not really a believer in fate, per se, but... This is some coincidence. It might take me a bit of time to figure out what this does. I'll send you a letter once I know something. There's nothing out here that's more dangerous at night than during the day. So fearing the dark is highly illogical. Though that may, that's not to say that animals such as myself are always capable of logic. <laughs> She's scared of the dark. Okay, so Badru is asleep, and I think Reth is over here. <laughs> so far, though... Holy moly, bro. This is gorgeous. You know what this also reminds me of? This this game is a really good mixture between... And I'm not saying mixture as in it compares to. I'm saying mixture as in it feels like. In terms of mechanics, play style, the, the controls, you know, the stamina. Everything about it is a mixture and a blend, a healthy blend, mind you, of a lot of different things. It's It feels like Sims. It feels like Genshin. It feels like Animal Crossing. It feels like DDV. DDV. It, it's a very healthy blend. And you know what? The, the art style reminds me of Paralives. But just you know a little bit different obviously because s6 has definitely done their thing here they've put their entire foot into this game and it's not even like completely ready yet it's still in beta but just yeah. i'm very impressed already i'm very impressed and i understand all of the good things that i've been hearing now and where they're coming from because holy moly I really want to build my house, bro. I really do. Can I sit? 
No, no sitting. No sitting for me. So what do the focus points do? I don't think I can... Oh, I see. It. I think it helps whatever I'm doing. You know what? We have two mushrooms. Let's take it and see. How do I? What was that? Oh, I just placed a marker. I'm confused. I press two and it's not doing anything though. I, 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 am I missing something? Um, what if I do it in my inventory? Hold on. not letting me huh okay oh right click okay okay And then the next thing, I just want to learn how to take that off, but I guess I can't drop it. I guess it goes away after a while. Holy poop. That person scared me. So where is this? Where is this marker at? Oh, that's far. Oh. Okay. Never mind. I thought that was on the end of the docks, but <laughs> no. Okay, W foraging, now level two. What was that? Can I approach you? Are you going to attack? Oh, I want a friend. I want it to be a pet. Oh, it's going on morning time now. Must be dawn. Hello, Kenyatta. How's it hanging? Sup? You're new, right? I'm Kenyatta, glorified city hall receptionist. My parents run this place. If you have a problem, you should probably go to one of them. But if you want to get up to some trouble, hit me up. I've been having Ani sneak me a series of scandalous true crime letters in the mail. Oh. Did you know that there's a killer on the loose? Wait, what? In the capital? <laughs> Ten noble women of my age and height have gone missing so far. That's not good. This was tons of fun. That's definitely not something you should just casually mention. But okay. Is that person the person we have to talk to? No, it's Ashura. So. Sifu. Tish. Louisa. Everybody's asleep. Mm. Ani's asleep. I don't see the people I have to talk to. Bahari Bay. I know it's over there. So I guess we'll just go back because um everybody else is asleep.
pasta popperdale. Hi, I know. What do you have set up here? Sure, you seem to be another new person. Unless I have a previously made your acquaintance, in which case my apologies for forgetting you. I am often too distracted by my oneness to take notice of such things as meeting new people. And there seem to be so many new people lately. What is the oneness? Silly human, the oneness is merely the oneness. The oneness cannot be learned by listening to the sound of air as it moves through your face flaps. <laughs> It must be experienced. For me, that experience usually involves much fishing. I got your letter. You must have received my communications regarding the beloved pastime of fishing. I understand it is customary for tutelage to require work that does from one does from home. I know there is a word for it, but I cannot quite recall what it is. Here, why don't you give that fishing rod on your person a try? I shall be here in case you accidentally fall in. The Majiri, known as Eloisa, came to see me today. She seems to have believed your kind has been hiding underground for 10,000 annual cycles. I did not correct her. There didn't seem to be much point. She seems to find much enjoyment, perhaps even oneness, in her amusing falsehoods. <laughs> It's okay, and I, I know fork. You're doing good. Appreciate you. I know gives me pathy vibes. Okay, um, so what happens if I do fall in? Low key, I just wanna. Oh, <gasps> so I can't swim. Oh, that makes me so sad. Hold down to aim your cast and release to cast. Wait for a big bite before you see a large splash. The fish will nibble three times. Press and hold to start reeling in. Control the brackets by moving the mouse left and right. Only reel in when the fish is inside of the brackets. When the fish is outside, it'll damage your rod health. Only hold when the brackets are green. Oh, I'm definitely going to mess this up a couple of times. This is very relaxing. Oh, I get it. Okay, I have to... Oh! My mouse is the bracket. I get it now. Okay. My mouse is the bracket, so I have to move the mouse to the fish instead of moving the fish to the bracket. Oh, this is interesting. I've never experienced mechanics like this. I like it though. Okay. Okay, we caught two fish. Now we just have to learn how to cook them. I caught two fish. Are you holding the fish that I caught? You look as though you have something you want. I have crafted many adornments made from fishing implements. I find them quite aesthetically pleasing. But I do sometimes wonder if I am the only being who feels this way. No! What do you think of my adornments? They're charming. They're strange. They're very you. They're charming. This pleases me. I shall remember you find my adornments charming. I caught a fish. Congratulations. I hope you were able to experience the same joy as I derived during such events. 
However, my time with humans taught me your kind derives limited utility from living fish. Perhaps this is a more suitable reward for your efforts? I do hope you will choose to continue this wonderful activity in the future. In the meantime, if I find anything I believe will be of interest to you, I shall have it delivered to you via mail. Please return another time. Oh, I like Einar. Okay. Alright, so now we're back to needing to go to Baju. And someone's up. Can we put it away? 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 I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. Okay, thank you for explaining that to me. Okay, so focus increases the experience. Well, now I feel like I should go back and go fish some more. Because I don't want to waste all that experience. Hold on, wait a second, hold on. Oh, now I'm getting involved. I'm getting immersed. I'm getting immersed. I know he's about to love me. I'm going to be here all day. And also, I'm pretty sure we can still forage stuff. Like, I think I can still... Oop, wait, wrong thing. Pickaxe. Oh. So we can use anything. Oh, I like this game. There's something in this. Copper. Okay. So we're almost level two in mining. You see how I get so distracted? <laughs> you see how my <laughs> Games like this, my brain will take me in every direction. go back to fishing because that's what I was oh but I'm so close to level two one more one more there we go okay you know I'm getting used to PC Okay, let's go. Oh, something's in the water. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Oh, I did it. This looks like a hot spot. What just happened? I, I, I pressed, I pressed the button. I missed the fish. I pressed the button. So it worked with this fish, but it didn't work with the other fish. Okay, so if my rod breaks, does that just let the fish go? Or do I need the new rod? 
I have I have questions. Iron Iron and saute and butter with equal parts garlic and spice sprouts. Once the mixture is fragrant, soak in water to create a rich broth. Okay. Lore. Oh my gosh, there's frogs in the water. The heck was the, oh that was catching bugs okay oh there's another thingy okay I'm, I got a, I got another chance to try I'm sad we can't swim okay three bites and then pull Yup. You caught a star quality item. Star quality bugs and fish can be placed in their own. T oh. Select the item and left click to place. Cool. We got a pet fish. Okay. Now it makes sense why I had to catch it under special conditions. I want to get another one. What was that? Ooh. I'm just picking up anything. Now I see why I need a storage chest. Might need to. What the heck was that? It's a box. A waterlogged chest. What? Okay. Locate the recipe straps for pale. I can't. Words are so hard, bro. Paleon onion soup. Okay. These quests. There's. There's. There's a lot of them. They're starting to become a lot of them. I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> There's so much to do. I'm overwhelmed in a good way. It's like, I want to explore, but I also want to continue with the tutorials, you know? Because I want to learn the game. I really am enjoying it so far, though, one. Two. Three. So they said it's like on the fourth bite, but it's really on the third. Ooh, okay. W, fishing is now level two. What else can we get up? Cooking, gardening, mining, furniture making, foraging, bug catching, and hunting. Hunting? I don't want to hunt. I don't want to hurt them. <gasps> no, they're going to have me hunt deer and stuff. No, I don't want to do that. I hate hunting in games, bro. I really do. It's one of the reasons why I haven't played Red Dead 2 yet. Because <laughs> I don't want to hunt. I don't think that... Wait, it might be in the spot. I'm just doing this until my focus points are gone. Oh, 
hello? Hello? Try fishing in a more open area or cast further out. What do you mean? What? It just let me do it there. It's not letting me do it there anymore. Oh, there we go. is it for my points so now let's go to the map Einar is still there so Einar is always by the dock Wrath is there Kenyatta and I had to talk to Baju there you go I want to go to Baju first because Baju is going to teach us how to garden so can I walk in water? Okay. I just can't swim. I don't want to hunt. <laughs> I'm genuinely so sad. Walking through the town is so relaxing in this game. Oh my gosh. I'm just looking at all the sights, looking around, looking at the mountains, the trees, the sky, the civilians. I do hope that we get a new way of traveling though, like getting on a bike or something. <gasps> Maybe riding an animal's back, imagine. I'm getting smoother with my camera movements. Not the smoothest, but smoother. Okay, this is still pretty far. Can we go up this hill? Amen. Badru! What you got going on, Baju? Oops, wrong button, my fault. Well, if it isn't another friend I haven't met yet. I'm Baju, the farmer, and I sense we have some good times, Ed. Did I mention, in addition to farming, I also do stand-up comedy? Can you teach me to garden and chat? Let's chat first. Potatoes are the worst crop to harvest. They're so low to the ground. They really throw on my back. Okay, can you teach me how to garden? You come to the right place if you carrot. If you carrot about fresh quality produce. Oh, God. Honestly, I'm impressed to see you going after what you want. If I had that kind of gumption, maybe I'd be doing more of my life than just making ends meet. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. Farm life's great. Especially if you love the smell of Ormu manure in the morning. I'll admit, it's a bit of an acquired taste. Tell you what, meet me on the plot later and I'll talk you through the steps. Looks like you're ready to swing by Kenley. He's our mayor, so he'll get you set up with a new house. <gasps> oh. All right. I'll leave you to it. 
Oh my god. Open the store. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh, there's a store and stuff. No, but I do want to talk to Reth first. And Reth is where? Okay. I'm trying not to press down so hard on my W key. I'm just so heavy fingered. <laughs> I got fat fingers, man. Breath is in the inn. Yeah. Wait, I think I saw Breath on my way out before. Yeah. What's up, Breath? Good to see you again. Oh, hey. You're one of the newbies, right? Name's Reth, but you can call me Trouble. In addition to being bad news, I also provide Kalima with delicious soups and stews here at Ormu's Horn. Stop by later, yeah? Always happy to chat with a friendly new face. Oh, he's cool. My favorite part of the job is getting to know interesting new people. Like you. Ooh. Maybe one day you could tell me what it's like in this crazy prismatic void I heard the humans came from. That had to be a trip. Oh, so he's a flirt. Oh, dear. <laughs> Whoa, there. You gotta learn to walk before you can swim. Unless you're a fish, but I'm like 97% sure you're a human. Why don't you start out by making campfire for your place? Why don't you start grilling up shrooms like a camp, like a champ? We'll get you started on the complicated stuff. Oh, if you don't want to be stuck in a tent for the rest of your life, probably a good idea to talk to Kenley next. He's the mayor, but hey... I won't judge either way. Stop by again soon. Appreciate ya. I like, so, okay. Reth and Kenyatta, so far, I they have my attention. And it's crazy that both of them are uh, apparently bad types. Or just troublemakers. What can I say? I'm attracted to the toxicity. <laughs> I can, I can. In real life, no. But in video games, hmm. <laughs> you know? Wait, Ken is Kenley in here? Hey, Kenyatta. Are you over here? City Hall storage room. Kenley, right... Is it upstairs? I'm so confused. <gasps> yep. Hello. Can I sit? Of course not. Wrong button. <laughs> Greetings. I am the Honorable Kenley Bahari. The firstborn son of the late Kenjun Bahari. The 118th Duke of the Bahari province. Oh my gosh, 118 and brother to Kenyara Bahari, the current Duchess of the Bahari province. I am mayor of this fine village, and it is a great pleasure and honor to welcome you here among us. Oh, well, thank you. Could you come back later? I'm a bit busy applying my seal to the documents Esh has given me to approve. Okay, but I wanted to ask about getting a house. A house? And you're, uh, you're asking me? Well, personally, I inherited mine. Have you tried that? I want to build my own. Oh, right, yes, of course, because you have just moved in. The, uh, plot didn't come with one? Oh my god. No matter. I'm sure I have the paperwork around here somewhere. Just give me a moment. Oh no. Where is it? Hmm. I shall tell you what. Go find Tish, our resident carpenter. I'm sure she'd be delighted to get you started on some nice furniture while I, uh, locate those forms. Oh, my lord. Eshi, okay. Well, now I know how to say Eshi. 
I'm definitely telling her. Okay, so now we have to craft a campfire, meet Baju, and talk to Tish. It's like every quest stems three different quests. Okay, Tish is right here. And that's over this way. Ooh. The furniture store looks cute. Hold on, hold on. Water break, water break. Hydrate, y'all. Hydrate. All this talking is drying my throat out. Tish, good to see you again. I'm glad I talked to you back then. Kenley sent me or chat. Let's chat first. Do you like the furniture? I made most of the pieces myself. My family comes from a long line of carpenters, going all the way back to the time of the first council. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty. Okay, Kenley sent me. I'm so glad you're going to live here. I was trying to come up with a good welcome gift when I realized a house isn't much of a home without furniture. So here's some simple rece re the, re the receipts. Oh my God. Here are some simple recipes for you to start with. If you're tired from all your hard work, why not build yourself a place to sit or a table to eat at? My friend Jell insisted you have a wardrobe too. He's a tailor and he always says looking your best makes you feel your best. <laughs> Even if there's something you can't make now, I'm sure inspiration will strike as soon as you start building. I'll see you around. I mean, your friend is right though. Place a chair, place a table, place a wardrobe, craft a campfire, and then meet Badru. Holy moly. 1300. 380. 1300. 4000? 400. 350? Three seventy. Two thousand. Two hundred. Okay. Nine fifty. Two ninety. Twelve hundred. One forty. I mean, know your worth, queen. But at the same time, ugh. I am dirt poor. <laughs> dirt poor. Okay. Let's get back to the home. Which is, hold on, I know, I know where my house is at. I know it's over this way. We're probably going to set up the house and do all that stuff. Go through that part of the tutorial, learn how to garden, and then call it for this stream. But I most definitely am going to be playing offline for a little bit. Just so that we can have a nice little setup, you know, by the next stream. Which most likely will be on Saturday. Good to see you again, Spring Bean. This place is already starting to look different. I figured you'd still be working on setting up that tent. That's some worth work effort. Eth if if uh, I give up. Words are hard. <laughs> That's some work ethic. I like making the place feel homey. Just the right answer. I'm sure you're gonna fit in here just fine. I bet you've been working up an appetite from all that chopping and mining. Well, if you got patience, I've got the solution to your woes. Gardening. All you have to do is wait a few sun cycles and voila, dinner. Or breakfast. Even lunch if the mood strikes you. I know, I know, it doesn't sound exciting, but trust me, nothing tastes better than a carrot you've grown yourself. I've got all the tools you need right here, too. 
Looks like your inventory is full. Extra items are stored in overflow for a limited time to help you manage your inventory. Amen. Thank you. Eventually, items in overflow are destroyed or replaced. Treat a full inventory seriously. Okay. I appreciate that, though. Why don't you drop this plot down and give it a good till? Okay. Make sure your garden plot is on your action bar. Okay. Aim where the garden plot should be placed and make the final placement. Once your plot is down, press and hold R to select the, the, the tool from the tool wheel and till the ground. Place seeds. Press to place them. Press the plot. They need to be watered. Let you know when they're thirsty. Okay. Many crops can be harvested at once, and so the cycle begins again. When the crops are ready to be harvested, simply press F to harvest. Okay, so let's definitely go put some stuff in storage. And maybe make a new storage chest while we're here. How do I move things? Oh. Okay. So this can go there. Actually, you know, what is this? Right. Okay. So these fish can be sold. These fish are placed. Can I put this in here? Okay. Gather a bowl. We're going to put that right there as well. Uh, copper ore, a shiny pebble. It's a quest item. Okay. So all of the quest items and other things I'm not going to do anything with at the moment. The cooking items, I'm not going to do anything with yet. This, I gotta open. This is going to get sold. We have the plot. And then we have the arrows that I'm not doing anything with. At the moment. And then I'll come back and I'll get all of this later. But for now, the more important thing is the soil pods and this waterlogged chest. Which is going to go over there. Okay. Yes, definitely feel better about my inventory. Um, but what do I do with this? A makeshift large planter? Oh. Ooh. Okay, cute little furniture item. We love. Okay. All right, so now uh seems like there's really no better place to place it than i don't know if i can move it though you know what i'm gonna place it right here next to these trees because I, I wanted to use this tree so we'll do right there and we'll do right here can i walk over them perfect okay yeah. Alright. So now we're going to go here. Oh. Uh -huh. This is so involved. Way more than I thought it was going to be. And I like it. It makes it like a little mini game, even though it's not. Oh. You can discover things? What? You can get items? Hello? Okay. 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 
but we have no seeds so i mean there there really wasn't a point in me doing that but um wait hold on y'all one second Okay, let's continue. I'm done. Carrots for some seeds? You might be wondering what to do next. Unfortunately, seeds don't plant and water themselves. You're gonna need some of these bad boys. Consider them a housewarming gift. Thank you, Baju. Once your seeds are in the ground, go to that pond and fill up this here watering can and give that dirt a nice little bath. Might take a few sun cycles and a few buckets of water, but trust me, it'll be worth it. Some things you plant might have an effect on the seeds around it. For example, carrots and onions keep weeds from growing next to them. Ooh! If you find yourself needing more seeds, you can pick them up as a kais. Well, I can't wait to see you again, neighbor. Oh my god. That would have been funnier if I had given you weed seeds. <clears throat> I gotta work on my material. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious, oh my word. Okay, so we have some carrot seeds, some onion seeds. I don't want to put them all on the same plot. I low-key want to have them be like separate. We found a thing. Okay, plant fiber. Okay. So I wonder if you don't till it all the way, will it cover back up? Or does it cover back up over time? Or once you tilt the soil, is it is it just ready to go, you know? Um, let's put the carrots here. Wait, whoa, what? Okay. Okay, and now we go, we have the water pail. Okay. Refilling watering cans from the nearby pool. Equip your watering can and press the right click. Left click? Right click. When you're a valid source of water. Hold R to select the watering can and start pouring. Your crops will never wither. Progress is only pause. Okay, good. Amen. Love this game. Um. So, um. Oh, wrong click. My fault. My fault, y'all. So I could have, this could all be mine, or this will all be mine <laughs> in due time. That's a crazy amount of land, bro. 
what? I love the sound of the water in the watering can. I love water in general. Y'all already know this. I talk about it all the time. But this game is so relaxing. Oh, that didn't even use a lot of water from the can. Okay. Oh yeah, that barely used any water. It used about a quarter of it. And then the bow and what is this? Start aiming, arc your shot, and intercept the insect. Practice good timing. When an insect when an insect is hit by a smoke bomb, it will attempt to break away. If they fail, they become dazed and can be picked up off the ground. Okay. Rare bugs have a higher chance to escape. Overwhelm them with an additional catch attempts. You can keep trying as they flee. Increase your skill to unlock new types of smoke bombs and more powerful belts that will increase your chance to daze an insect. Okay. Why do we want the insects, though? Equip the bow and draw the arrow. Remember to hit fraud the targets by arcing. Creatures will flee if you miss or are unable to hit, fell them with a single hit. Chasing creatures is an integral part of hunting. <laughs> but I don't want to hunt them. Huntable creatures drop valuable materials for crafting. All players that help bring down game and receive loot. Okay. Mm, but I just, I just don't want to hurt them. I have to get over it. I know, but uh, okay. Place a chair. Place a table. Place a wardrobe. Craft a campfire. Harvest a carrot and harvest an onion. Okay. Holy smoke. Oop, let's definitely make a campfire. Okay. Dining chair. What should I learn to make? A bed. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want to make a bed at that moment? What the heck is that? Carpet moss? Chop a fur? Okay. Oh, we need a lot of wood. I'm, I really just care about the table. I mean, I could make the wardrobe, but definitely care about the campfire. Okay, so campfire. Let's put, put it here. the mushrooms okay uh, the table I mean not the table the chair okay and then let's go farm some wood I guess we could just take the rest of the wood that's in this area might as well Something told me to do it before. Something told me to do it, but I'm like, you know, I didn't want to be here the whole time. But it's good, though, because I didn't waste the wood, you know? That's a lot of plant fibers. So if I wanted to, if I really wanted to, I could sit here and mine this whole forest is what they're telling me. Like every, all of the trees that are behind me, 
I could single-handedly contribute to the deforestation of this entire area. <laughs> That's actually crazy. Did something just drop? I got it, right? It was the wood. I might have to scrounge me up a party and just go run with them while they hunt the game. <laughs> I don't want to hurt them. I keep thinking about it. Why would they do that? Here we go. After this, we'll have a clean lawn and a good starting point. W renown. Okay, so now we can make the table. What should I learn to make next? What is this? A bathtub? Why don't they tell you? Oh, it's a coffee table. Could I actually sit? I can't even sit. Okay. Grill, okay. Um. And then the wardrobe is the last thing. That's all my wood. The heck is this? Ooh, bookshelf. Okay. I'm I'm crafting whatever looks interesting since something's in the way. Uh, uh oops. I'm crafting whatever looks interesting since I can't see it, since it won't tell me. Something's in the way. What's in the way? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Can I change clothes w and then i'll put my bed here it's gonna you know we'll we'll work on the placement of everything but um it's looking good so far talk to kenley at your plot oh okay hello sir Greetings, fair traveler. wonderful news i found the forbs under the bookshelf in the records room they're only a little grumbled too if you can just sign here, here, and here, I'll be able to get you that blueprint. Yes, and here too. Oh, and here. There we have it. And I remembered to bring that blueprints with me. These are now yours, Siren. <coughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, y'all. I suggest you plop the frame down as soon as possible and get building. Now, if you'll excuse me, I do believe it's time for my break. Not time for my break. Oh, Lord. This is how the royalty get down? I'm too famished to keep talking. I feel that. I'm not even going to hold you. I feel that. Place the foundation for your house. Uh. The foundation, you say? foundation for my house wait <laughs> you have exhibited traits associated with the water personality type yup that's me <laughs> water personality is deaf me okay wait so what? Place the foundation of my house where? Oh. 
Oh. Uh. You know, we're, we're just going to move all of this. I'm going to have to move me. Can I move? Okay. <laughs> Let me move. Okay. Um, so, I did not think that this was going to be like this. Thought I was going to be putting it up the way I put my tent up. Oop. Oop. How do I undo? I guess I can't. Okay. I'm going to have to be very careful with placement. And I know that now. Okay. Add resources to your building to complete construction. Oh. 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 Oh, this is gonna be like Animal Crossing where I have to contribute to my own foundation. How are you liking Killama? Oh good, you're still here. Killama? She said it was Killama, okay. Kenley mentioned he found the blueprint for your house, so I thought I'd stop by to give you some other helpful tips. If you want to finish your house, you'll need stone, bricks, and soap wood planks. So get comfortable with wood cutting and mining. You've met our innkeeper, Ashura, right? He can teach you to make a sawmill for those planks. And Hadari sells the stone smelter you'll need for the bricks. If he's not in the village, check Bahari Bay to the east. That's where he lives. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear you've decided to make Kil Kil Kilima, 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 Kil oh my god, Kilima, your home. <laughs> I'll have to stop by again soon with some housewarming gifts. Oh, well, thank you, Tish. You, you're very sweet. Everybody's so nice. Oh my god, y'all are so sweet. <laughs> This was bothering me the whole time, but I didn't say anything about it. <laughs> okay, well, y'all, in just two hours, we completed pretty much majority of the tutorial and have our foundation for our first house. You know, we have our plot of land down, we have our makeshift tent, which I'm going to have to organize and rotate around a little bit, <laughs> you know. <laughs> We're just going to put this here for now. But we have our setup looking pretty good. I love that it moves all the furniture inside and I don't have to worry about doing that. We cleaned out our plot of land. We got level two on some of our skills already. We have a nice little set of inventory going. We developed a personality. We're level four. So we completed a lot in just two hours and I'm very proud of how far it's gone so far i am absolutely adoring paleo i'm gonna be honest with y'all it's a lot of reading it's a lot of dialogue but i'm very used to games like this i just have to make sure that i play it with water near me <laughs> you know and make sure that i don't play it too late at night but i really am enjoying this game and i absolutely will be playing through it with y'all this is right up our alley right up my alley right up y'all alley and if there are any paleo players watching this and you know you want to add me as a friend i actually would be pretty down because we could accomplish a lot together with everybody playing together um i definitely am going to be playing this offline <laughs> so don't expect me to be at the same spot by the next stream okay i will probably have some things developed probably have some different furniture items because i i could barely wait to start this game okay when i made my character i was fighting to not continue playing so definitely don't expect me to be at this exact same spot by the next stream but hopefully we'll be back here by saturday um I will let you guys know if you aren't a part of the discord please join the discord that's how you get notified of all of the youtube things that i have going on all of the twitch things all of my life things you don't have to you're absolutely not obligated to but 
it's how you stay updated and it's how you get first notice because YouTube is not my main platform. I will try to be more active as these days go on, but we're human. Life gets away from us. Anyway, from me and Siren, we love y'all. And we are going to be ending the night here. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for being here. Thank you for chilling. Even after the stream, if you come back and you watch this and you vibe and you're listening to this right now, thank you. I appreciate you so much. I'm such a small channel, but I just, I'm thankful for everybody that stops by in any capacity. If you fall asleep to this, if you watch this while you're eating dinner, if you watch this while you're taking a shower, I don't want to think about that. If you watch this while you're on your way to work, if you watch this while you're at work, at school, thank you. From me, from all of the savages in the Pride Lands, thank you. Have a good night. I love you all. I appreciate you. But for now, good night and peace.